Hi friends, welcome. Today is our unboxing video from Thrive Market. And if you are not familiar with Thrive Market yet, it is an online grocery uh, vendor and you just purchase a membership for a year, almost like Costco, um, and then you order whenever you want. So um, we just joined this month. Actually, this is our very first um, monthly subscription box that we are getting with Thrive. Now the monthly subscription box is completely customizable. You get to make it however you want. And I'm really excited about it because the program is very similar to Young Living's Essential Rewards. And you guys know, uh, if you've been following along with this channel, you know Young Living's Essential Rewards is my absolute favorite loyalty program of all time. So you don't earn points back in things with Thrive the way you do with Young Living. So Young Living is still my favorite, but I do love that you can customize the date and the amount and everything that's in there. So let's jump right on in. I'm gonna give you a sneak peek. We got some staples. And then we also have a few things as we're building um, or refilling our emergency stock as well, because um, this year we noticed that we had not been keeping an emergency anything. <laughs> on hand. We were so used to water walking distance from a natural grocers and we go to the farmer's market on a regular basis and we've been so used to that and spoiled in our apartment. I've always had dreams of having some um, food preparedness in um, to be able to make it through, you know, a blizzard or snowstorm or whatever. Uh, when we were in Atlanta a few years ago, it was um, a hurricane that came through Atlanta and we realized we did not have anything if we couldn't get to the grocery store, which like this year, oh, wait, that would have been good to have some things on hand. So we're not doing anything crazy. We're in a small space. I've had to get creative about ways to store things in our apartment and to have an emergency stash that would get us through a couple weeks. Um, and I'm slowly working on building that up as well. I recently started following the homesteading family and I'm really excited to learn from them as far as some tips and tricks on storing food in tight places because they have had experience with that. But right now, let me dive in and show you what we got. This order, we have two of these um, organic extra virgin olive oil containers. I love that they are opaque. And so there's no worry about sun. sunlight is the enemy of olive oil. And so there's no concern over olive oil being spoiled by sunlight in this, which I love. And I also love that this is single source. So we tried this for the first time a few weeks ago. Oh no, I'm sorry, a few months ago. And it is fabulous olive oil. We had been buying the extra virgin olive oil from Natural Grocers, their store brand, and it is decent, but it's not single sourced. And you can tell it's just not as high of a quality as the Thrive Market one is. So we're really excited to have two of these on hand. One's going into our, um, is replacing a bottle that we just opened from our preparedness because you want to have things on a rotation. So um, we'll be replacing one of those and then have one that is ready and up for us to use next. And then let's see. Caesar dressing. Now, some of you guys know I love to make my own dressings and I'm actually gonna talk about something I used for that here very soon, olive oil being one. But um, Caesar dressing just takes a few more ingredients to keep on hand. And like I said, we're in a smaller space and my hubby loves to have the convenience of a pre-made dressing as well. We tried this one in our last Thrive order and it is phenomenal. One of the things that I hate about dressings is that uh, most store-bought dressings, I should say, is that usually they have really, really cheap oils as their base and um, you can taste that and the nutritional benefits are just no good. Whereas the Thrive Market Caesar is made with an MCT coconut oil base and it tastes amazing. Like we have this, it's dairy-free too, which is helpful because my husband has a dairy sensitivity we're working through. So just really excited to have that on hand. I'm even excited about that one. And I don't get excited about dressings that are already pre-made. We got some more organic ghee to keep on hand. This is the Thrive Market brand, which I like the ghee a lot. My only, my only critique of it is that it comes in plastic instead of glass, but 
working up, we're working within budget. And since I mentioned that my hubby is working through the dairy sensitivity, I will show you what we got. Next is the almond milk. This unsweetened almond milk from Thrive Market is wonderful. And there's no garbage in here and the flavor is really good. So he really enjoys using this in his coffee, especially. Um, but we use that almond milk anytime that we need a milk replacement. I am a big fan of raw milk and I'm still looking for a good raw milk vendor here in uh, Colorado because you have to purchase a cow share to get it here. But um, for him, the almond milk, we like that one. And then we grabbed some einkorn flour from Jovial. This is the 100% whole wheat and I like to use this to make bread. My favorite way to use einkorn is to get the whole berries and to grind the wheat myself. But Einkorn berries have been very tricky to find this year in 2020. So Young Living, I usually have them on my regular essential rewards order from Young Living, but they've been out of stock from them with them for a long time. Um, probably since like April, I think. And then um, Jovial was out of stock of their berries for a very long time as well. And I did just notice the Jovials are back in stock. And so if Young Living's don't come back, first in the next couple weeks. I might be ordering a big thing of einkorn berries from Jovial. But um, the flour, whole wheat flour, will have to work in the interim. It's still a lot better than any other flours that you're gonna find out there. Then we grabbed, after I talked about really good flour, I'm gonna show you my guilty pleasure snack that we don't eat regularly, but one of these is actually going in our food preparedness um, storage emergency stash. And then this one I'll keep out and available. Hubby likes to snack on them sometimes. This is the closest thing you're gonna find to a Ritz cracker flavor that is organic and not as junky. Now it's still not my favorite, it's still processed, um, so it's not my favorite go-to for a snack. However, if you need something like we made clam chowder the other day and didn't have any crackers on hand except for our emergency stash. So <laughs> we did grab those. But I, when I think of if I lose power and I'm not able to make a meal right now in an apartment and I need to eat peanut butter and crackers, what crackers do I want my peanut butter on? these. <laughs> these. All right. Um, we're almost there. You guys, we have several teas. This will be our first time trying the Thrive Market Sancha green tea, which I'm excited about. This is a Japanese green tea. So we shall see how it goes. The organic raspberry leaf from traditional medicinals is wonderful. Ladies, if you are not using raspberry leaf tea, uh, this is wonderful for hormonal support. It's safe during all seasons, including during pregnancy and breastfeeding and everything. So, um, but it's also just great for regulation and for healthy hormones. So I'm excited to have some more raspberry leaf on hand. And then organic India Tulsi turmeric ginger. I love organic India's Tulsi teas. It's holy basil, which is an adaptogenic herb. So it's really great for basically whatever your body needs it to be good for. <laughs> and it adapts to your body's needs. That's what adaptogenic means. The turmeric, ginger, and the Tulsi are all wonderful things to consume, especially anytime, honestly, especially if you're dealing with inflammation, which makes it a really, really great thing to consume during phases one and two of your menstrual cycle because that's a time in your cycle when inflammation tends to be a lot higher. So consuming a lot of things like turmeric and ginger and Tulsi are really helpful for your body during that. I may do a video on cycle syncing very soon, but that's one of, um, one of my favorite things to do during the first two phases. And then one more product that we bought and one thing that we got free. So the last thing that we bought is the Thrive Organic Mustard. This is phenomenal in a honey mustard dressing. It's great, of course, you know, on burgers and um, brats and hot dogs. We don't eat a lot of hot dogs, but you know, if you're looking for a good spicy brown mustard, this is it. Um, it's not even really that spicy. It's just a um, stone ground mustard. 
Yeah, so I love to use this for a lot of homemade dressings, vinaigrettes, and that sort of thing. It's an easy base. Mix it with some of the olive oil, salt, some spices, bada bing, bada boom. You're good. And then last but not least are these JoJo's, which we have not tried. So if you don't know this with Thrive Market, first you get free shipping at um, $50 every month. And then the um, they will do free products every few days. They switch them out. They might even switch them out daily. My husband gets the emails. Um, so I'm not on top of that, but he, he gets them and then says, we need to do our order today because this is free. So he wanted to try the JoJo's. I had never heard of JoJo's and I'm looking at them now and I'm thinking these look yummy and I'm gonna try one when we're done with this video. So they're dark chocolate, peanuts, salt, and hemp protein. Like that is simple ingredients. So that makes me happy and they look really yummy. There's a little window on the back. So excited to try those in our order. And that's all I have for you guys today. If you are not yet a Thrive Market member and you are interested in getting interested in getting a membership, I have a referral link. I'm going to link down in the description below. It saves you $25 on your first order. It also saves us a percentage. I think I'm required by YouTube to tell you that, <laughs> but it um, gets you the $25 back. So that's definitely worth it. If you don't have somebody else that's given you a referral code, save the $25 on your first order. Don't make the same mistake we did which was forget that I have probably five to 10 friends that all had referral codes. We just got excited and signed up and missed the 25 bucks off. So take advantage of that. All right, I will see you guys real soon. Take care friends, bye.